Welcome back guys and we're taking a look at the last moves of this game Huschenbit against Golot in my series My Best Games. So we have reached this position I've just played knight to b7, knight from a5 to b7 and in the last video I said what was the idea and we will see this idea very soon. Um, he played bishop to c8 also another move bishop c6 doesn't really help I can play knight to d6 here and after well that's quite pretty too here so queen takes d6 um, would run into something here let's find out what exactly maybe just d takes e6 and followed by queen takes f6 so this is crushing and after bishop takes d5 it looks first that now everything is fine for black but this knight is really causing him trouble knight to c8 and the rook can take because of bishop to g7 and now he cannot play rook takes g7 anymore and he will be mated here so queen d8 and now knight takes b6 a takes b6 and a e takes d5 and black again can take the pawn because he has protect this pawn on f6 and if the knight moves um, he cannot protect the pawn on h7 anymore and I have various ways to just move my bishop so that would be winning but he played bishop c8 and now we've reached this moment why this game is so special to me because I have played here the move which I consider to be the most beautiful one I've played in my career and we will see my whole idea behind knight b7 so if you would like to you can try to find out yourself I would um, encourage you because well it's just fun and you can stop the video if you like to and now I will show you the move my whole idea behind knight b7 maybe it's not that difficult to see anymore because where can the knight go and then you will maybe find out soon that I was heading to d8 here and I think it's just a very rare sight that the knight is coming to d8 and it's just the winning move and black can take in three different ways but either way he is losing all right, so let's see the easy one. Rook takes d8. We already had this line before. Bishop g7, followed by mate. Knight takes d8 is also quite obvious. Just play bishop f8. And now play cannot take with the knight on e6, on f8. And, well, I'm just mating here on h7. Okay. So only move pretty much left is um, queen takes d8 because black cannot ignore this knight on d8 either. I would just take on e6 probably. So can't do that. So queen takes d8 and now we see the another reason. Now the queen is not on the seventh rank anymore. And I can take on e6 and now play my bishop back to g5 and if the queen was still on e7 black could just take on g5 obviously and there would be no mate but now he has to defend the mate on h7 so rook g7 but now bishop takes f6 and again i'm threatening mate because the rook is pinned now also queen is hanging so only move is queen g8 and I'm not in a hurry to take on g7, this rook is pinned, so I have time. And I played rook f3 and there's no way out for black. And it's also remarkable that this bishop is preventing this rook from coming into play here on b7. So for example, well if he takes the bishop then just bishop takes g7, king takes queen f6 mate. So queen takes g7, queen d8, queen g8, rook f8, bishop e6 and mate on f6 okay and 
in the game he tried queen e8 but it's all futile it's all hopeless here um, queen h6 again a the black rook can come into play, queen f8, and now bishop takes g7, queen takes g7, and rook f8, and I'm going to mate in the next move, and he resigned at this point. Yeah, that was this game, Huschenbeet against Golot. I hope you enjoyed this game. I hope you share my opinion that it's um, a beautiful game and a beautiful move. I could play knight d8, and I would say i probably see you in another video of this series so if you would like to support me then please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions to this game or in general about me or just whatever just post it in the comments and i will have a look and answer your questions all right see you soon bye